This is a special kind of limited slip differential. And if you don't have any experience in car mechanics, that may sound like gibberish. But what exactly is it? Why is it used? And what makes it so cool? And most importantly, why is this design genius? So what is a differential in the first place? When a car goes around a turn, the outside wheels have to travel a greater distance. The length of the outside circle is greater than the length of the inside circle. A differential allows the wheels to turn at different speeds, which is required when a car is negotiating a turn. Here you can see the outside wheel spinning faster than the inside wheel. And when the car is traveling straight, the entire system moves as one piece. So how does this work? You can see here, when I stop one wheel, the other wheel starts to spin faster. And you can see the blue helical gears inside spinning. Let's take a look inside this mechanism to see how it works. At first, it may seem very confusing, but it's actually really simple. If we remove the housing, you can see that each wheel is connected to a helical gear, and the axle is completely disconnected. When this red helical gear spins, it rotates this blue helical gear, which has two spur gears connected to the ends. These two spur gears connect with the other spur gears attached to the helical gear, which moves the red helical gear, which moves the other wheel. It's a fairly simple gear train consisting of helical gears and spur gears. This is what makes the other wheel spin twice as fast when I stop one wheel. But this is true with practically all differentials. What about this differential makes it special? Let's say you're driving your car on the road, but one side of the road is icy. When you accelerate, you want to have really good traction. This is where this differential excels. You may have seen something like this. This is a classic one wheel peel, and it's definitely not ideal for traction. Now this is where it gets really cool. An open diff is susceptible to the one wheel peel. This limited slip diff acts kind of like an open diff. If the right wheel has a ton of traction and the left wheel has zero traction, it's still possible for the one wheel to spin. But check out what happens when I add a non-zero amount of friction to the other wheel. And even in icy conditions, friction is still non-zero. Now it may look like the entire thing is locking up, but actually because of the helical gears, one wheel is getting most of the torque and that wheel is the wheel with the most amount of traction. So then what's the benefit of this design and why is it so genius? The genius of this design is that it's a purely mechanical system that instantaneously transfers the correct amount of torque to the wheel that needs it the most. I would like to thank my friends over at Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Micro Center is your one-stop shop for everything 3D printing, PC building, and electronics. And right now they have a really good deal where you can get an Ender 3 for only $99. That's right, you can get a 3D printer for only $99. This is for new customers and it's in person only. The holiday season is coming up, so why not gift a $99 3D printer? So thanks again, Micro Center, for sponsoring this video. Micro Center is a really great store and I highly recommend. If you don't have a Micro Center near you, you can still shop online at microcenter.com. You can find all the links in the description. Thanks for watching and happy printing. If you're brand new to 3D printing or if you've been 3D printing for a while but you want to learn how to design your own things, head over to 3dprinteracademy.com. We have a bunch of resources and downloads just for you.